Welcome back to the channel. Hope you've been enjoying these. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, the first book in uh, the, the Wiz series. Uh, anyway, it's called Wizard's Bane. Now, I read this as part of a two book collection. It had uh, the first one, which is the, the Wizard's or Wizard's Bane, but it also had uh, the second book, Wizardry Compiled. Um, but I'm not going to talk about the second book, just the first book in the series. So, <clears throat> the f looking at the image here, you can kind of see uh, a, a lot of what this particular uh, book is about. Now, you may get the false impression that this is like a person or a com like a computer programmer programming a, a fantasy game. Uh, and there actually is a book that I read uh, that was very much like that. Uh, maybe I'll try to track down the title and review that one. But anyway, this one is uh, different in the, the sense that uh, the main uh, protagonist of the book, his name is um, uh, Wiz Zumwalt. That's not his uh, his f full name. They call him Wiz because he's a wizard at programming. So uh, <clears throat> he gets summoned from the real world where he is a computer programmer uh, to a fantasy world. Now, when he gets to the fantasy world, the wizard who summoned him is dead. And um, <clears throat> he has no idea what, what he was summoned for or why or... Um, well, he knows why he was summoned. He was summoned to deal with uh, an evil wizard. Uh, the, uh, this evil wizard was, is particularly powerful, and he has uh, basically put everyone under his... Uh, his control or is very close to doing so and so in order to combat this evil uh, he um, a wizard on this in this world uh, reached out and summoned us uh, you know did the whole summon a champion thing in this case he summoned Wiz now Wiz comes from a world where Magic doesn't exist, doesn't work, etc., etc., and so he has no idea why they would even summon him because he can't do magic. What is he supposed to do? Um, <clears throat> instead, uh, when he comes uh, to this new world, uh, he begins to explore magic because the, there's nothing that he can do except for explore magic. He's trapped in this world. He's been summoned there. He has no way to get home. The, as, as I said, the wizard who summoned him is dead. And nobody else, apparently, nobody else can figure out how to do, how to, to reverse the summoning spell. So he's kind of stuck where he is. Um, <clears throat> trying to figure out how deep to delve into this um, uh, particular explanation. I, I very much enjoyed the book. Uh, I enjoyed, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you have the protagonist who is uh, more of an everyman um, type character than, uh, you know, the, the Conan the Barbarian hero who uh, is... Uh, intelligent in his own way, uh, but <clears throat> you may have more trouble relating to him in, in certain respects, as opposed to uh, this person from our world who had a normal nine to five job kind of thing, uh, and he's suddenly thrown into this fantasy world. How does he adapt to this situation as opposed to you know Conan the Barbarian he is in a fantasy world he is in a world where magic works and etc etc 
uh, and he is adapted to not only live but thrive in that environment plus you know how many people out there actually have the um, the physique of Conan the Barbarian. I mean, yes, you are reading this for escapism, and no, you don't need to identify 100% with everyone to be able to, you know, enjoy the, the story, but um, there is a certain amount of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, with uh, the more of the kind of everyman approach... Um, there's more of an opportunity to identify with that person, more of an opportunity to um, see yourself in that per that particular person, that particular situation. So, <clears throat> in in that way, I would say that it it is a more enjoyable uh, experience, more of an enjoyable book, um, <clears throat> because, I mean, there. <clears throat> I know that there are plenty of people out there who, if they were summoned to a uh, a fantasy world, they would never want to come back. Uh, there are other people who, if they were summoned to a fantasy world, would try everything in their power in order to come back. <clears throat> I, uh, I don't talk a lot about um, my other interests. Um, on this channel. Uh, I do have um, a lot of interest in books, and that's why I talk about books, but uh, kind of that... <clears throat> um, there's there's a lot of sentiment about being... Um, I don't know if sentiment is the right word I'm looking for here, but uh, with a lot of the anime that are coming out, uh, where the protagonist of the anime is... Uh, summoned from our ordinary mundane world into a um, into a fantasy world where uh, they're able to thrive and excel in that particular environment uh, that's very similar to um, what you find in Wizard's Bane is you find that every man protagonist who is summoned from the mundane world to this fantasy world where he has the opportunity to become the hero and that does speak to um, the reader uh, the in, in in the anime case it does speak to the viewer you have the opportunity to delve into something because everybody wants to be a hero Nobody wants to be, uh, you know, the the nobody. They all we all have a desire to excel, to have our, and and by hero I don't mean that we have to go out and slay the dragon and rescue the princess. Although a lot of us would enjoy doing that. What I what I um, uh, mean is that we all want to have our efforts recognized. We all want that recognition that what we did was in some way. <clears throat> um, heroic. And again, that's not necessarily in the sense of I'm actually doing heroism. I'm actually he uh, heroism. I'm actually saving someone's life. Otherwise, we'd all go into the military, the police, you know, the, the fire, uh, firefighters, etc. We'd all seek that particular kind of life where we can be the hero. But the thing is, is that we do get that, um, that when we get that recognition for a job well done, th th we all crave that. We all want that. And so this is kind of that wish fulfillment fantasy where a person from ordinary real world uh, gets the opportunity to uh, <clears throat> uh, get t taken from the ordinary real world where uh, he, he maybe excels, but... Um, <clears throat> He's still largely in a unrecognized or uh, unrealized has unrealized potential, uh, and he gets summoned to this new world where um, he he has to uh, figure out how to survive and how to even thrive in that particular environment. 
Um, now, <clears throat> I do enjoy uh, the uh, the anime with the overpowered protagonist, uh, though I do uh, they in order for for the enjoyment to be there. Uh, that particular, there has to be something there. There has to be a hook that um, shows that there's something more to the protagonist beyond being this overpowered protagonist. Because if the 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 protagonist is overpowered to such an extent, that there's no threat there, and so there there still has to be a credible threat to the protagonist's um, <clears throat> life, livelihood, whatever else. Uh, this, on the other hand, is much uh, different in that the protagonist gets summoned to a fantasy world where um, he has to figure out the rules, and he's not immediately overpowered. He has to go through that hero's journey uh, in order to realize his potential, in order to realize how he can help the the new world that he's he's landed in. Um, there is a one of the things that um, is a problem with a lot of more modern media is that uh, the the heroes have stopped having that journey. They've stopped having this this uh, road to self-discovery. This road to um, well, I, I'm just a new, I'm just a noob. I'm just a beginner. How do I go from being this um, this uh, new person on the scene, trainee, to how do I become that that hero? And um, I think that when we skip that, when we go straight from um, nobody to hero, that the problem is that we we lose that time for us to identify with the hero. We, we lose that ability to um, identify with their, their motivation, their... Um, their struggles, etc. So, anyway, uh, back to Wizard's Bane. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, highly uh, recommend it. Uh, uh, if you're interested in the kind of fantasy novel where the protagonist comes from uh, the real world and is transported into a, a fantasy world, this is a, a very enjoyable beginning to the series. It's the first book, and I did relocate the... Um, <clears throat> The series that it's from, it's The Whiz Biz. Uh, I should, should have gotten that right off, but anyway. Uh, Wizard's Bane, Rick, Rick Cook. Uh, there are, let's see. There are five books in the series, uh, and they're all... They're all about... Um, the hacker slash programmer Wiz uh, Zumwalt, and uh, they're they're the first two. I haven't read the last three. Uh, I look forward to that, and uh, I will get to those <laughs> as and when I can. In the meantime, uh, if you're as I said, if you're interested in this particular type of, of fantasy literature, it's a great place to start. Um, Wizard's Bane by Rick Cook. Very enjoyable. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you've read this and you had a different take, or if you had the same take, let me know. L uh, let me know your thoughts on this particular book. Um, and uh, let me know if there's a, a particular series or uh, book that you'd like me to talk about. I can't promise that I've read it. Uh, I uh, tend to favor um, fantasy books in my reading. Uh, that's not to say I haven't branched out. I just find that that's the, the particular genre that I enjoy. I once told a friend of mine that um, I like sci-fi movies and I like fantasy books and not the other way around. That's not to say that there haven't been some fantasy movies that I have enjoyed and some sci-fi books that I have enjoyed. Uh, but that's been my typical I enjoy sci-fi movies and I enjoy fantasy books um, 
anyway, that's it for today. Uh, like, subscribe, put the bell on so you get notifications, and enjoy what you're reading.